Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Troy Munson on Revealing Wholeness. Today, you know, about three months ago, we did a couple of podcasts on uh, gastric bypasses, the, the sleeves, all those things like stapling the stomach, all those kinds of surgeries. And I had a client come in the other day that talked about, you know, what, what do they do now? What, what's best? They, they didn't have necessarily acid reflux, but every time they ate vegetables, it was just horrible abdominal pain. And so for some of you out there that are, that are struggling with this, the inability to process some of those fibers, uh, the fibrous foods like vegetables, um, even she said it even gotten as bad as now it was, it was difficult to eat meat. And so there's a number of things that are happening when, when we have a, oh, a body that now doesn't have the ability to break down things as well as it should or could. And ultimately, you know, we want to go with high octane fuel in her body and she's doing a good job, I think, dietarily, but her ability to process, um, the fiber and the vegetables was just really, really struggling. And so it may have been somewhat how they put the sleeve on, but we're at this point trying to help her handle those things even better. And oftentimes um, I'll ask, you know, do you have your gallbladder out? And, oh, maybe half the time they've had their gallbladder already out. I'll ask them if they have acid reflux. And sometimes they'll even have acid reflux and doing doing things of that nature. But this particular gal, it she still had her gallbladder, still had... Um, or didn't, wasn't having acid reflux, which is really nice. And ultimately what we're, what we're thinking is that she's got to break down her food, but as it hits the gut, she doesn't have enough bile coming out of the liver in order to process. And oftentimes if we're overweight, we're going to have more sluggish bile that's in the gallbladder. And the more sluggish the bile is in the gallbladder, the more we produce stones, but the less the liver is able to flow bile through it to actually detoxify the blood. And how we deal with that, as you've heard me in other podcasts, we do things like beets and beet greens. And many people don't like to eat beets and beet greens because, you know, they taste like dirt. Or at least they taste like dirt to me. I'm always interested when I find somebody who loves beets. I just think they like eating dirt. But <laughs> at this point, you know, I'd rather take it in a pill myself. And so um, we'll do some things that will basically thin bile. And the biggest thing that's lacking that's in beets is betaine. And betaine is a B vitamin that thins bile. And so now it helps detoxify the blood, helps get estrogen um, out of the blood, which is really what creates fat cells and creates weight gain. But it's also hormonal imbalances in both women and men. And so when we start supplying betaine in the form of beets and, and uh beet greens, we now have a lot of cool effects that happen. We begin to emulsify fats that we're eating. So that means we can now absorb nutrients like minerals, um, like calcium that so many people need this time of year because it's summertime coming up and calcium is important for, for helping get vitamin D away from the skin and store it for the winter months when we don't have a lot of, a lot of sunlight. But as we do this betaine, digestion changes, the pain level begins to go away. We begin to soothe the gut lining, which is a job of bile. It's very conditioning for the gut lining. So it's removing toxins from the gut lining, and now we have less pain. So let's say this, this woman, as she's beginning to pull fat off her body because she now has a sleeve around her stomach, she's beginning to burn fat. And out of that fat is coming a lot of estrogens, a lot of toxins, and it's likely irritating the gut. And so we just need a lot of extra bile. So, you know, for those of you out there that may be experiencing those same things, that's one portion of her care. She opted to come in and get fully tested so we could see what else was happening in the system. What do we need to do hormonally? What do we need to do nutritionally to try to ramp up her ability to absorb nutrients because she's just not getting as much now? And all those are concerns when we go through a surgery of that nature. So let's say you're having acid reflux. We would definitely want to do some things that are beginning to rebuild your acid ability. And We've even talked about in podcasts, like I think the one on um, the fermentation, you'll hear me talk about Zypan, but we just had one not just the other day on E. coli, and we talked about needing a strong stomach acid and the pancreas 
um, making uh, pepsin, which is a really strong acid for our stomach so that we can fully digest our food and absorb it correctly. So all those things are in the mix. Ultimately as well, when I have a very small pocket of a stomach in order to digest food and they've got to eat more frequently, I tend to do enzymes with them. So if you're not doing enzymes, you've had a gastric, gastric bypass, you'll definitely want to do some sort of enzyme product. And a lot of them out there could be not very viable, meaning the enzymes there are not really working very well. So do make sure that you're getting uh, at least a a brand name that you trust or that people that do use it and have shown good results. And so if you're if you're concerned or question that, please shoot me an email, give us a call. We're happy to, to help you work through that. And any other questions that you have concerning um, the gut stuff like that. And perhaps maybe one of these days very soon we will do a podcast on uh, bacteria, a lot of people on probiotics, and so something that probably should be revisited as well. And we will do that then. But until then, I'm Dr. Troy Munson on Revealing Wholeness. This concludes another episode of Revealing Wholeness with Dr. Troy Munson. If you have any questions concerning this podcast or others, you can reach Dr. Munson by email at chiroman, that's C H I R O man, at dr.com. Or you can call him at his office during office operation hours at 360-893-8586. This show is sponsored by Infinity Whole Health on the Disruptors Podcast Network. The information on this podcast from Dr. Troy Munson is meant to educate the listener on a variety of health issues. It is not meant to diagnose or treat any conditions.